Morning. Go, 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 jump, jump, go. That's a big package. No, that's a big package. That's cool, check it out guys. It's my new boom mic arm that I'm gonna put on my desk to hold my mic. And then a cover for my light in the corner. Well, that's cool, but I gotta make breakfast. So good, man. Well, I ended up setting things up, guys, and it's looking a little bit more professional, I guess I would say. I'll explain what I did to that monster in a moment, but this is going to be the boom arm. It's a lot longer than the other arm that I ended up having. And one of the things that I always have as a big complaint with these boom arms is kind of like how they adjust. So this is where I sit and look at the computer. I have my second monitor over here. Hello, that's that's the face cam that's right over there. We'll talk about that, Ant-Man. But with the boom arm, you can see how it becomes a bit of an issue blocking my second monitor. So that's why you may have noticed that I had it like fully extended out because that way I still get it right in my face, but then I can also still look at my second monitor. So this boom arm is definitely better than the one that I had before. Most of all, just because my specific setup. In any other instance, guys, I would actually recommend that you just go for like a cheap boom arm, like the one that I had that's kind of spring loaded, this one right here. This one, it works, it's fantastic. Uh, it's just like I said, because of my very specific setup with my desk being as long as it is and stuff, I couldn't, like, I, I needed ha to have that extra mobility for my second monitor. And then in the last vlog video, I kind of showed how I had this facing into the wall so that it wouldn't necessarily be like blinding my face, right? But what I ended up getting was, this is kind of like a sock, right? And it goes around the whole light to kind of dim it and make it a little bit softer. And then there's the camera. Hello, camera, yay, there, and then there's us, right? But unfortunately, I have a very, very low tolerance for like high lighting. It just, I don't know, there's something about it, it just really bothers my eyes. And like, even after a while, like it really starts to bother my skin too. But mo most of all, it just makes me very uncomfortable to have like a spotlight beaming down on me, right? Especially considering I'm sitting in this booth recording like 80% of the time. So I just ended up doing the cheap trick that I've always done, use paper. <laughs> You can see over here, this is another light that I actually use as a secondary light, but the light bulb is just right on the other side. And even with it being a dimmer light bulb, it would still bother me. So I just kind of put like all of this paper over it. I know it looks ugly, but it's functional, right? And then with this, I just set it up uh, because especially with this being a, a, a fluorescent light, I think it's a fluorescent, but either way, it's like really, really bright and reflective. So now I just kind of taped like paper all around the whole edge. And what that's going to end up doing is just making the light a little bit softer. Like I'm looking at my settings here in my recording software and stuff, and it definitely is a lot brighter than it was when I had the light facing against the wall, but now it's actually not going to bother me. Anyways, I got to clean all of this stuff up. By the way, this is what the camera looks like when I have it on my GoPro arm. I ended up getting an accessory the other day that would essentially allow a normal camera to be on a GoPro arm. Already, I'm not really liking it. I don't really trust it because obviously the GoPro arm is mostly intended for GoPro cameras and this one is a lot heavier. So I'm probably going to end up returning the piece that I ended up buying from Walmart 
and just going for like a more high quality mic or, or not mic arm but like a uh, a more high quality arm that can actually like hold a camera i wanted to try and avoid it because i thought that i could salvage my gopro arm but i just don't trust it dude i like i feel like i'm going to just drop the camera time to go on an adventure jub i feel bad because i haven't been able to take jub jub out for her regular walks lately because I've been so busy with recording videos and doing all the trove stuff. But now that that's kind of settling down, I figured that I would take advantage of the weather not being completely awful and actually take her for a walk because that's the other thing too. With the weather being as cold as it's been, that's been my other big excuse. Seriously, she's got like so much energy to burn and this is what she wants to do. Sniff the ground. I promise you, there's nothing there. Jub Jub's starting to get super excited. This is a bridge that we always sprint over. I'm pretty sure she knows that it's time to go. She's falling behind, even though I'm just barely sprinting. <sighs> See, normally, what we do is sprint as fast as we can across that bridge. Obviously, I can't do that with you. This is when the real adventure begins. Come on. Come on, Jub Jub, get that stick. Jub. Jump, jump. What a wimp! I would have been able to bring that stick no problem. I wonder what has Jub Jub so interested. Go get him! Go get him, Jub Meet your friend. Uh, that's a good girl. Is there something wrong with me that I find that entertaining? Or do you guys think it's funny too? I just find it so hilarious because Jub Jub thinks she's so tough. I mean, look at you. You're sniffing the grass for crying out loud. Get the stick, Jub. Get the stick. Get the stick. Look how proud she is with her stick. <laughs> As my girlfriend would say, she's the best dog in the world. See, the thing that you guys don't know is Jub Jub loves barking at people. She's just kind of crazy that way. Most of all though, I found the secret is it has to do with when she's got too much energy. Cause now, I just passed a dude back there. You probably can't even see him on the camera. No barking, no nothing. Because she's busy exploring things. She loves big dogs. Oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I gotta say, ladies and gents, I think that this whole vlogging thing is gonna be really good for me. Because I think being Canadian, naturally, like, I, I, I don't mean this in a posh way, but we're very respectable about other people. So, because of it, I'm a little bit uncomfortable when I'm recording stuff or talking to the camera and stuff when there's people walking beside me or something. So, I'm hoping that I can kind of break that I guess, kind of break out of my comfort zone a little bit by doing these vlog videos. Cause I've been actually researching and watching like lots of other vlogging YouTubers and stuff and I'm not trying to compare myself to them in any way, shape or form but I just noticed that they're very, very comfortable with a camera in their face, right? As opposed to me, the only time I'm comfortable with a camera in my face is when I'm recording myself playing video games in my own little private recording studio. That said, it does have a lot to do with the culture like with American culture, for example, that's where obviously some of the top vloggers are American because you guys are used to having like hundreds of thousands of people walking around like regularly, whereas this is the most I've got. It's just me. Get your stick, get the stick. Get that giant stick. Show it who's boss, Jub. Come on, Jub. Get the stick. Nut. <laughs> She gave up on the big one and went for a tiny one. Hey, buddy. Yeah, and she loves the snow. Yeah. What a weirdo. Little dogs love the snow, man. I know. 
Have a good one. You too. See ya. You have fun meeting your friends, Chubb? I think that means yes. This is it. So we're gonna be laying Jub Jub off leash. Go Jub Jub, go! You're free, you're free, you're free. Where are you going? I gotta say, this is quite beautiful. I'm talking about you, not the snow. So we're almost all the way back already. This entire walk, is roughly an hour, maybe a little bit more. She's going nuts. <laughs> what are you doing in there? Huh, what are you doing in there? Camera's almost dead, so we'll see you back at home. So we're back now, and I wanted to do a live stream because there's this Roblox game called Booga Booga, which is the most hilarious name ever, but it's Ark in Roblox, right? And I started running into the same issues that you always run into as a YouTuber. OBS, for some weird reason, was just displaying a black screen when it was set to my number one monitor. No idea why, I didn't change anything. But now I gotta troubleshoot and try to solve this issue so that I can start streaming. <sighs> I love streaming, but playing a game for like an hour straight, whoo, like my voice is so dead after I stream all the time. And then again, I think I secretly might be a little bit sick or under the weather or something, but when am I not? So for right now, all I'm really doing is just kind of hanging out in Trove, just, you know, doing work. And then I gotta make some thumbnails, upload some videos and stuff. Uh, Mariko is getting her eyelashes done and she's gonna be done that around 8. Maybe, possibly, I might not have a vehicle by then, so I might go for another long walk with Jub Jub downtown. I don't know if that's gonna happen or if I'll end up driving there. I ended up actually getting this weird, like, I hope the camera can pick it up. It's pretty kind of dark here because I don't have any lights. Uh, actually, one sec. Yeah, that's better. So, Aki Bento. This is actually by the same company that does the one-up boxes. So I'm about to record that video. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh no. It's Bobo. He's like the oldest cat in the world, by the way, and kind of gross. No. No. You can get attention, but you don't gotta rub against the camera. Hello, Jub. Do you like your old man? Cause he's as old and wrinkly as you? Is this your boyfriend? Hello, Jub Jub. Do you love me? Do you want to make out with me? Let's make out. Oh yeah, I like it. It feels so good when you bite my arm. He died of a heart attack, Jub Jub. Give him CPR. Well, obviously decided that I was going to walk to downtown, which is fun because it's actually pretty nice out today. The other days, it was super cold, dude, like insane. As opposed to now, it's actually not too bad. Check it out. We actually have a guy spinning fire in this park here. He's like a Jedi. So I just got off the phone with Mariko. Seems that her eyelashes are done, but it's her friend that did it for her. So they're gonna hang out for five more minutes while I get a little bit closer to downtown. Well, Mariko and I met up but she's hungry and we can't really go to a restaurant because we have Jub. So she's inside the store right now grabbing some food. Mariko's here now. Hello. What? Oh, I'm here. What? <laughs> she got her food. What'd you get? Salad. I'm gonna have to subtitle everything you say because you whisper. What? <laughs> did, did you hear that? Yes, I did. We're almost back. Almost. Almost. It's too tough. I gotta like do it angled sideways to get you in the shot. Does it look like we're walking on a weird alien planet? <laughs> well, obviously it's the end of the day now. Mariko's secretly behind me. Jub Jub's freaking out like she usually does. Cause she knows she's on camera. Gross. What are we doing? Sleep. You heard it here first. Say goodbye Jub Jub. Uh, sayonara and stay epic.